let me show you a scene from Pirates of the Caribbean that always intrigued me. Hey, Skunjili! <laughs> no, not this one. This one. I found it fascinating that a heart could keep beating outside of a body, and when I researched further, I found out that this can happen in real life thanks to the heart's automaticity. Your heart is a muscle, meaning it is made up of fibers, like a rope. When you pull on a rope, the fibers slide and tighten, and when you let go, they relax. The nervous system sends messages to your muscles, ordering them to tighten and relax, but the heart creates its own messages to tighten and relax, and this is known as automaticity. While the nervous system can tell the heart to go slower or faster, the heart is pretty much independent. Now, these messages we were talking about have a name, action potentials, and they're a bit complex. The first process involved is conduction, think cables. It occurs in myocyte cells who were promoted from their job at the contractile department and moved to the pacemaker building. Pacemaker cells generate the electricity that will set up contraction, and they can be found in the AV and SA nodes, among other places. Okay, so cells are polarized. There are more positive ions on the outside of the cell than in the inside, making the cell negative. You can think of ions as people, and the cell is a party house. The walls are the cell membrane, and the pumps and channels are the doors and their bouncers. At resting state, there are more crazy and social people on the outside of the house, and more party people on the inside. This is maintained by the bouncers that kick the social and crazy people out and the party people in. As the inside of the house receives more positive people, it becomes less negative, aka less polarized or depolarized. The starting environment where voltage of the party is boring and minus 60 millivolts, and for it to get fun, it must reach minus 40 millivolts. This is achieved by the funny bouncer, who gets an order in his earpiece when the party is boring to slowly let social people in. This slowly increases the number of positive people on the inside of the cell and depolarizes it. When the increase reaches the fun threshold, the crazy people bouncer is allowed to let the crazy people in, and this rush of energetic people into the house, combined with the positive people already inside, shifts the cell's charges making the inside positive and the outside negative. At this point, the party is lit, but it can't go on for much or the house would be wrecked. The party people bouncer then starts to kick out party people and the crazy people bouncer stops letting crazy people in. This takes out positive people from the house making it less positive and therefore more negative or repolarized since it is going back to polarization. Once the resting potential is reached again by pumps and channels, the process repeats. This pacemaker action potential will set up a domino effect as it travels through bridges or gap junctions triggering neighboring cells. Once cells that contract receive the stimulus, they will depolarize and cause the tightening and relaxation we talked about, known as diastole and systole, but you might know them as your heartbeat. In the end, action potential shows how intricate of a machine our body is, with all its cogs, pegs, and processes that interconnect and keep us alive.